Hey there everybody, it's me, DioGenZ, and it's time to play World of Goo. Today's level on the epilogue is the Weather Vane. Oh, this Weather Vane, very reminiscent of the windmill in the Windy Chapter 2, when we had to use balloons and stringy goo that dripped down to the pipe. Very reminiscent of that level. Remember when you found your first spinning kill blades? Yeah, I was just talking about that. We were so young back then. Not that it matters. Nobody will ever make it to the other side. I love how pessimistic the sign painter has become on these recent levels. Can you see me waving? The sign painter. Yeah, each level that we creep closer to victory, he keeps taunting us like, I'm just on the other side. I'm right on the other side. Oh, but you'll never make it there. Never, ever going to make it. Yeah, his fun words of encouragement. But I will tell you words of realistic strategy. Here's what you have to do. Very similar to that windmill level, we have to build an arc. And we've done this kind of structure time and time again. We've done it more than you even realize. It's not that big of a deal. I think this is a lot easier level than the level we took on yesterday, in which we had to do so many stages that were kind of trial and error at a certain point to get over to the other side. This is a more concrete, stable structure that we're going to build that has a lot of wiggle room for how you're going to build it. Basically, we have to take into account the construction manners of building a tall tower, and we also have to figure in some balloon physics once we get up to the higher reaches of the clouds. You see up there are some sleeping goo balloons that we will be using to make the arc possible. And from there, it's even easier, I think, than the windmill level, because with that, you had wind blowing you the whole time. There is a little bit of a breeze, and that does play a factor in how your tower wobbles. I don't even know if I've mentioned that before, but it really does pay a factor. Uh, play a factor, not pay a factor. Plays a factor in how good and sturdy your structures will remain, and how high up they will be. All the wind drift that, or wind draft that they could get across the side of your goo structure. That all figures in. And I thought it was much more of a challenge on the second level, the second chapter. Don't go, Balloon Goo! Phew, we got you. Right at the last moment. Uh, I thought it was a lot more difficult because it was swinging goo drips. That particular type of goo was the dripping water, kind of translucent looking goo that would just hang down like slobber off of a dog's mouth. This goo is the more familiar goo type to me, and probably why I find this level a lot more easy. It's the triangular, double joint, necessary black goo that we've been using since day one that are used to build your structures more and more, like a stratified girder beam or something like that. Something you'd see on a large bridge, something like the Verrazano. Uh, personal Jersey East, Eastern Seaboard reference. But, once you get to this side, you need to focus on having the balloons. This is really the only big strategy thing you need to know for the arc. You need to have all the balloons on the heaviest point of your goo bridge. Alright, we'll let that guy go. Not. We have plenty of time bugs. Why waste any goo? Oh, damn, that's why. It put us back a few moves. But you'll need to compile the most of your balloons on the other side of the bridge. You'll need these intermediary balloons, of course, in order to have arc over the spinning blade in the middle. Otherwise, you'll get that sag sensation that's no good and will result in you dying via spinning blades of doom. But uh, keep on compiling, keep on making that chain, the triangular chain back and forth that eventually wiggles over to the pipe. If you start to wobble over on your drooping side of the chain, then just simply add more balloons from the middle, because once you're all transported to that side, they really don't matter. They don't matter, at least on that section of the bridge. I should say, they matter quite a great deal. You can't win this level without careful balloon placement. But you need to know that they won't serve you any good once you get closer to the pipe, and you need to have the midsection not fall like it is unfortunately doing there. Okay, so we just missed a lot of goo and got then one more on the flyback. You probably could have done it a lot better than me. Maybe have kept... Uh, I see what happened there. It started to bend and flex. We had kind of a double jointed thing that was not as weak or it was weaker than the rest of it because it was built to be stretched. So 
make your base structure stronger so that it will not flex into that goo so you don't have the same situation and just keep using balloons.